So what do you get for £57? It smells amazing. Stuff has been thrown in here that doesn't actually belong in here. It's the worst question to ask a hoarder, was this used for? Hi there and welcome back to a new video. I have just had a delivery from Morrison's. It's been a while. I've just had one delivered. I'll tell you all about it in a moment. We're also going to discuss today my weekly um, menu. We're going to cook something off the menu and there's going to be a kitchen declutter as well. I might do a cupboard or something like that. I'm slowly working my way through them. So let's talk about my shopping delivery. It's all just come. I'm going to go through it all with you in a moment. I haven't shopped from Morrison's for some time. I've been shopping mainly in Lidl and um, the reason I've ordered from Morrison's is that we're having a really busy time at the moment and I didn't want to give up a couple of hours to go out and food shop. It's my busy work week and I really needed to food shop and I just couldn't face going out spending a couple of hours when I really, really need to work. So I decided to get the Morrison's delivery. I've got these little bits and these little bits and some other bits as well. My yearly pass did actually expire just a about uh, maybe three, four weeks ago. And I debated on renewing it. I think it's now 65 pounds for the year. Let me know if I'm wrong. It's about that price. I used to use it every 10 days and it worked really well. And then the last year I just haven't used it because prices have been going up so much. So we've been tending to, li to Lidl. Um, however, I think Lidl is becoming quite pricey. I was chatting with my brother about this the other day and he was saying that him and his partner now are shopping at Sainsbury's because they're finding that is the most affordable supermarket more so than Aldi and Lidl and for me it's been convenience today and I did actually get this shopping slot I only ordered it yesterday I got the delivery slot for today for two pounds and I thought that was really good between 7 30 and 8 30 in the evening it's worked out really well because we've been able to work have dinner walk the dog and the food shops just come so it's worked really really well for us and two pounds I thought is really good so I've decided not to renew my shopping because I my delivery because I'm definitely not getting 65 pounds worth but if ever I do need a few little bits during my busy work times I can do this and for the sake of maybe two quid every two or three months I think it's going to work out a lot cheap, cheaper I was quite impressed with the prices I've got my shopping for 57 pounds it's been a couple of weeks since we food shopped and I'll show you what we've got and by the way if you like this kind of video please subscribe to my channel I'm all about the home stuff the cooking budgeting and we're also in the midst of trying to move house as well so you've got lots of that kind of home stuff as well so what do you get for 57 pounds i've got salad cream light a big thing 500 grams of beef gravy granules bleach is two for a pound chopped tomatoes i'm just thinking i think they are 39p now the savers ones french onion soup's really gone up but we do like this for a cheats meal one pound 59 a tin now and we have a tin each and it's under 100 calories so i really like that got some granary bread Morrison's own cream crackers and ginger nuts the soft cheese I use this a lot for making pasta sauces and it's 83p a pack we've got chicken thigh fillets which I will wrap in twos and freeze and we've got macro uh, macro fillets which I will use for lunch salads we've also got eight pints of milk each you know I never think to check the dates oh that's only the 21st of May that's not good 23rd oh they're both only 21st oh, I guess that's not too bad that's yeah we've also got this big bag of 20 thick sausages last time we had 21 one pound 60 and you cook them from frozen i'm going to be using them for a meal this week i know they're not going to be the healthiest sausages i know that for one pound 60 for 20 you don't expect them to be amazing but we had them last time louis came home and he had his friends here and i made sausage sandwiches it was really cheap to do and they're quite nice to have in the freezer as an emergency uh, but also when you're shopping on a budget sometimes you can't always have the best quality of everything you do sometimes need to compromise and like I said I know they're not the healthiest 
but um, we're gonna put them in a tray bake. I might do that tomorrow actually. So we'll be cooking with them in a tray bake tomorrow. It's all about balance though, isn't it? So we're balancing our not so healthy sausages with all this lovely stuff. Two bags still, the rocket and baby leaf salad. I love this stuff. Two bags for a pound. Got um, limes. I go for the wonky stuff from um, Morrison's whenever I can. Wonky grapes, broccoli, wonky apples, wonky potatoes. I've even gone for wonky lemons, onions. This must be the smallest red cabbage in the whole world. It's 80p. I nearly sent it back, but I really fancied red cabbage with apple this week, so I've kept it. And peppers and a cucumber as well. No tomatoes as I managed to pick up loads in Sainsbury's. We've got a little Sainsbury's next to where I do my post. And they had them all reduced to 50p a pack. So I've got loads of tomatoes and I've got a few other bits and pieces already as well. So I'm going to put all this away and then we are going to talk menus. Oh, I did get something else. Pepsi was on offer, £8.50 and AIDS Pepsi is £3.75 for eight. So I've got two of those. It's the following day and it's dinner time. And I'm going to make that sausage casserole I was talking about it's more like a tray bake so it's like all in one um, tray I'm gonna pop it in my oven dish um, I'm gonna put marmalade on it I've made it before and it's so so delicious so I'm going to I'll show you actually the ingredients that I've got out potatoes celery peppers carrots garlic onions and then the frozen sausages and some marmalade I was going to use um, sweet potato as well, but it's gone off. Didn't use it in time. I'm feeling so hungry today. It's only half past four, um, but we did have quite an early lunch today. Um, I made, I'm really struggling with this camera. It keeps slipping. Let's see if that works. No, is that gonna sound still? Um, yeah, so I made a really, lovely lunch today it's all about the balance as i was saying yesterday um so earlier on i did a smoked mackerel salad we had loads of rockets spinach tomatoes um grapes oh it was so good really really good um really healthy and then we're having crappy sausages <laughs> for tea but um not only is it a balance with healthy eating it's also a balance on your budget um so yeah um you have to do those things sometimes don't you so we're gonna do it and i, I do love a good old tray bake and again that's all about balance as well because i'm working really long days at the moment and um i still want to cook from scratch so it just means that doing a tray bake just makes life a lot easier for me it doesn't take very long I can throw it in the oven and then head straight back to work oh and I said I would talk about meal planning as well so this week as like I said we're talking about um, um, balance yesterday I defrosted um, vegan curry from the freezer that I've made previously um, so I had that um, today we've got this one and then tomorrow we're having the French onion soup, the tin soup that is really low on calories so that's going to be a lower calorie do day. I do usually do um, cheese on toast with it though as well. <laughs> it's a little bit of a treat but again it's all about the balance. Um, then Thursday, oh Thursday's a good day won't be to everyone's liking we've got quinoa stuffed mushrooms I love that meal so much quinoa is so good for you it's a super food um so I love to make loads of the quinoa with all the veggies and then um start fit with the stuff it in the mushrooms add cheese over the top and then the leftover quinoa we eat on the bottom and um, we have that with sweet chili sauce. It's so good. It's one of our favorites. Oh, and Friday, I've just checked, we have got fish. I've got some roasted, ha no, frozen hake that I picked up. Um, very heavily discounted um, in Waitrose. And we're gonna have that with roasted vegetables. So yeah, it's all about the balance. And then Saturday, 
Oh, we've got chicken wraps on Saturday. So not only a balance of budget health-wise, we've got some vegan, we've got veggie, we've got some fish. Um, so a little bit of a balance of everything. That's what I love about making a menu. Just being able to balance everything out, you know what you're getting. Right, let's open up these sausages. Aid has asked for three. I always think the pan looks massive when I start doing my food and then I do it and it doesn't look that big at all. The sausages cook from frozen. I've left the jackets on the potatoes and I'm just gonna add the tiniest drizzle of oil. I actually, I'll spray a little bit of oil. I don't want much because the sausages are gonna create the oil anyway. And then I won't add the chopped peppers and celery until a little bit later as because they won't take as long to cook. Little sprays of extra virgin olive oil. And then a few little dollops of marmalade. But if that sounds absolutely revolting to you, leave off the marmalade and you could even make gravy to go with it, to be honest with you. Marmalade or no marmalade, what's your thoughts? There we go. I ended up using up the rest of that marmalade, actually, so I put on a bit more than I usually would. I'm going to bung that in for half an hour and then I'll add the peppers and celery. We'll have a bit of a sweet and sour. Hi, Aid. Hello. How's I'm your day going? I've got my t-shirt because I spilled my lunch on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just stand like this. You spilled your salad dressing, didn't yeah, you? I did, yeah. It was good though, wasn't it? It was very nice, yeah. I could eat that again now, actually. I'm so hungry today. Yeah. I'm really hungry. Yeah. I had a few sweets on my call. Did you? Do you know yeah. what I had today? I um, um, raided the drawer and I had two out of date dime bars. Like little mini ones, you know. <laughs> oh, the, the little, the little, little bites, yeah. The big ones aren't huge, yeah. are they? And one out of date Ghirardelli. You know the. Yeah. Um, peppermint bark ones. Oh, talk about peppermint. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if we shared on this. Has anyone had? I think they're York. You're all skewed. Um, it's because my oh, arms are okay, Can you hold it? I think, I think they're made by either York. Right. Uh, American candy. Yeah. They're in a, like a silver packet. And they're a bit like M&M's, but they're a little bit smaller. A bit like our, well, Smarty kind of things. But they're minty, but they're just literally that same kind of thing. I found a couple of bags. Oh, did you? Yeah, but they were dated, I think, 2016. And? It tasted fine. <laughs> I wasn't going to waste those. <laughs> well, I'm going to put that in the oven. It's just sat there, isn't it? Come on, then. You want sausages, Poppy? Oh, bye. In 25 minutes, I'm just going to give it a little shove around just to make sure it's all covered in the marmalade. Um, it is on 200, by the way, just to let you know. It obviously needs a little bit longer to cook, but... I'm now also gonna add my peppers and celery. I hadn't tried roasted celery until we went to a steakhouse for Louis's birthday in January and we loved it. I'm gonna give that another stir and pop it in. I'll put the timer on for 15 minutes. Obviously, the larger the potatoes and everything that it's cut, the longer it will take. So just bear that in mind. The smaller the cut of everything, the quicker it takes. And I was planning to declutter this drawer. I think this is the worst one in the kitchen, but I am currently in the middle of kit packing, so it's not a priority right now. Getting my kits done, my work is a priority. The drawer can wait, and I'll probably end up doing that. Maybe tomorrow, if I finish the kits. This is what I'm currently doing, packing my small world kits. That are being posted tomorrow. Stop taking one hour. It smells amazing. My whole house smells so good. I'm so, so hungry. Can't wait for this. The marmalade has made this so, so sticky. This is a good meal. So a few days later, and it's now time to sort the messy drawer out. It used to be really tidy. I had quite a good system in here, but stuff has been thrown in here that doesn't actually belong in here. And you know what it's like after time, you just end up with a big accumulation of things. And there's a lot of things in here that has either been bought for us or we've bought and that's never been used. Um, or things that we haven't used for a long time. That's a coffee whisk or a milk whisk. But then there's things that do belong in here, like our bad skewers. 
that um, we need to sort out. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is empty all this. Ago, but how can I forget? We were 16 up all night. Love and heartbreak was our life. We got drunk and smoked your dad's cigarettes. Dreamt of a life in a big town. Skyscrapers and neon lights. Ooh, I still think of you. Ooh. The first bit is empty. Definitely need to clean that out. And this is everything. That I've taken out so far. I was wondering where this was. It's my um oh what do you call those burners, eh? For like lemon meringue. Oh the, the plump, um, I can't plump think. Thing, yeah. yeah, I completely forgot where that was. And I'm just gonna take this little lot out now. done I had no idea I had so many candles how on earth did all of that fit in there it's no wonder the drawer was so packed I just can't believe how many candles I've got all those are full of candles all these and cake decorations we have just got a ridiculous amount of candles matches live in the other drawer um, I've got loads, oh I found some of these as well, little clips, wash those up and reuse those. I've got bits for making sushi, loads of bits and pieces that I don't actually know, so many Allen keys, I'm guessing they've just all been kept from over the years. Batteries that can go in the battery recycling, um, and I've got a little pile of rubbish, I need to speak to Aid about the bulbs, because I don't, obviously know they don't go in the regular bin. Um, but there's a lot of this stuff that will not be going back in this drawer. But now I'm going to take all this out and give it a good clean. That's better. So these are like drawer containers, drawer dividers that I picked up in Ikea and they really help keep things organised. But every now and then you do have to go back over things and go through. So I'm going to try and put in only what we really, really need. I've put all the candles in a larger bag and cake decorations. They're all in there. These are all the little things for sweet corn holders. I've taken, this is for our fondue. Um, and I had, I've just got one left, but we had all the packaging in. So I'm just gonna go with that in there. Now to go through all this lot. I don't even know what half of this is. All um, Allen keys and other little keys that I found. I've popped all in an Ikea Ziploc bag. Just questioning lots of these things. So Aid thinks they're the old kids. They look like the old... Phone yeah, chargers? Like old, yeah, Nokia. Ah, oh, okay. Has anyone got Nokia? <laughs> I think I've still got another loft, actually. Oh, no. What have I started? It's the no. worst question to ask a hoarder. A, What's this used for? That's a Nokia as well. We're never going to use them. <laughs> Thank so. you. Okay. Um, Your bike lights, lights. Your bike lights. Okay. What are these? They're, they're things that bring to tighten things. They are useful. Are they? Yeah. So we're keeping those? Yeah, yeah, keep those, yeah. Bulbs, I'm guessing we'll keep. That is from the old fridge, I think. Oh, okay. So we can get water, rid of that. So I think we can get rid of that. Okay, that can go in my... I've got a bin pile this okay. side. Whoops. What are these? They were the brackets for fixing the water filter behind the um, fridge. Ah, so we don't need those. Shouldn't do, no, because it should come with them. Okay. Yep. What's this? That's a light switch. What for? The, ki the kitchen one. Oh. So that's been. Um, what kind of light switch? It might be the LED one. The dimmer switch. Oh. It goes inside it. Oh, I didn't know that's that. That's all the gubbins inside it, because we had oh. issues with it. Because LED ones, you have to give a certain particular type of one. So, so do we have to keep that? Um, I would keep it at the moment, so I'm not sure if this is the... Working one or not. Okay. Or um, these are from the Christmas lights that we don't Give actually have any more. What are these from? Brackets of something. Yeah, these are bro. These are for something that we bought recently. What's this from? 
Okay. That's our tape. That's to, to stick things. That's really strong tape. Okay, I'll, I'll the, put that in the you adhesive. You start the number plate on the car. Oh, okay. And so it's, it's 3M. It's really good, like double-sided tape. I've got an adhesive it's, box in my studio. That's useful to that me. can go in there. These I'm going to put charities. From, probably Never both from way. Tiger. Aren't they? Never been used. They can go in the charity pile. I'm going to get rid of all these candles. We've got so many. Well, look, we've got these that we don't use anymore. The smelly things. I'm also thinking all the little um the little thing is from Disney we're not going to use them are we we've yeah. never used them we can get rid of all those as well okay. yeah we, well we've never used them do you want to keep that yeah. okay everything else we can bin oh these this is the spare lights for the lights outside okay so we keep that for the time being because I think one's cool. blown actually we're actually we've done really well this is everything that we're getting rid of from that tiny little drawer I've just been told we're keeping that uh, I might put that actually under the stairs, that light bulb for storage. Uh, we did keep the cubes, uh, there's a few batteries and th actually the batteries we keep, we have a battery drawer for that in the studio as well. There's a fuse there, do we need the fuse still by the way? No, that's yeah, good. That looks so much better now and that was our messy drawer that we had in the kitchen. I wonder if most people have like a messy drawer cupboard in their house. Do you reckon? <laughs> I've saying, yeah, they do. Have not seen people do the videos about that the, that's their messy drawer? <laughs> I'm sure people have done stuff like reels and that about, or yeah. story, yeah. Things like that about the messy drawer in the You've house. You've just got a messy room, that's your office. It's not too bad now, it's a lot better, isn't it? It's still really bad. <laughs> it, it is. <laughs> Let us know, have you got... I don't got... have a massive space to keep everything. That's my workspace. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I you know. just need a desk and a chair. So that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Let us know if you've got a messy cupboard or drawer or something like that. We're or slow husband. <laughs> We're slowly getting around them, aren't we? Like we did the airing cupboard recently. Yeah. Um, that video is going up on Sunday. That's a scary one. That's the one where we did the loft. Oh, oh no, or did it go up already? I don't know. I know, it's gone up already, actually. <laughs> I'm just getting confused now. There's been so many. Um, yeah, well, we did the iron cupboard. That was really bad. We, we haven't, in all fairness, tackled more of the loft yet. No, have we? we've still got a lot to we've do. We've been so busy. The last few weeks have been really quite busy. So, But we'd like yeah. to tackle that a bit more. We need to start getting into how we were doing. We were doing charity shop runs. Yeah, we need to get back. And selling. I know. Did Everyone keeps asking, have you tried vintage yet? No, we yeah, haven't yet. But we're slowly getting around all the messy areas and tackling them. And um, I'm just finding just by doing like a drawer or a cupboard at a time that takes about 15 minutes, it's really helping. I think just doing even one little thing is one thing that's been done. Um, I'd like to get back into that maybe this weekend a little bit more. Oh, you're going to be doing multi-classroom this weekend? I don't know yet, might do. Mm. Um, but it's, it's nice, it's a nice feeling, but I think we've kind of come to a bit of a halt this last week because we've been so busy. Yeah. Um, we're still doing stuff, but it just seems to be that uh, we need to get moving again. Uh, this Sunday, by the way, I have a, another house hunting vlog for you. So if you're enjoying those, that video is on Sunday at 6 o'clock. So I'll see you then. Have an amazing weekend and I'll see you on Sunday. Lots of love. Bye. Eight, say goodbye. Bye. <laughs>